Guess who's back? Back again. Kay is back. Tell your friends. <laughs> anyway, we are the Mukbays LV. And today we are chowing down on Slater's 50-50. Yeah. So we have a lot of stuff going on right now. We're just gonna, actually, we're not gonna dive straight into here. I am gonna take a quick pause. A couple things we need to talk about. One, I got some negative feedback last time Kay was on because I didn't introduce her or say like who the heck Kay is. Negative so by the way, oh my God. <laughs> this is Kay. Hi. She is like our best friend and we love her. Um, second thing we just wanted to share, we're starting a rating system based on how much we like the experience. We can be rating the service when we order online or by the phone or how good the food is, mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so it's gonna be on a scale from zero to five. It's going to be a, I don't really know how to. <laughs> it's gonna be from no mucks given oh, there we go. to this food mucks. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just let you know what what the bays say about the muck the mycology yeah. of the food. Um, so anyway, we'll just dive right into here. Now I'll tell you what we got. So this is called vampire dip. It's basically a cheesy garlic dip. And In a bread bowl. Yeah. It has all these fun accoutrements. Pita. Oh. Um, we also have this bacon situation. This is called the, what was it, Porcapalooza? Oh, so it's kind of a tasting, really that's perfect. That's you know great. It. <laughs> so it's like a tasting thing of all their different porks, bacons. I don't quite know. I don't really know what that is, so we're gonna find out, but it's definitely the Porcapalooza. It's some pork stuff. Now, what else we got down there, Christine? Oh. We got salad with raspberry and vinaigrette. Salad, green salad. Oh. And uh, we also have Caramel popcorn with uh, bacon bits. Yeah, I think they just gave that to us, but I definitely didn't order it. So maybe it's like a thing they do. Mm -hmm. I Or comes with something. I vaguely yeah. recall that's like a thing they put on the table, kind of like when you go to like Olive Garden and you get breadsticks, oh. but I think they do like that when you dine in. <laughs> Have uh, pickled veggies. Yum. What are these? Fried mac and cheese balls. Ooh. Oh gosh. Okay. That's yes. gonna be good. We also have lemonade, which we will tell you about later because that was a whole situation. <laughs> Last Worse but not scared. least is the farmhouse, farmhouse party, party meal. Ball. Party meal, not party boy. Oh. I said party boy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so boy. this thing is three patties totaling over a pound of meat, Ooh. a Black Canyon Angus beef patty, a 50-50 bacon and beef patty, <laughs> and then a buttermilk fried chicken <laughs> patty with pepper jack cheese, American cheese, Nashville slaw, pickled red onions, sauteed mushrooms, and Tapatio Ranch. Oh, I think this is the Tapatio Ranch. Unfortunately, at first glance, we have realized that we only have two patties, not three. I think they're calling the chicken thing a patty. Because they also oh. only named like one or two rather beef patties and then a chicken thing. And also the picture okay. looks like that. Uh, Ignore what I said. Yeah. yeah, never mind. We were overzealous. Overwhelmed. Right, let's, let's dig do in. The thing. Okay, I don't know what to do or where to well, start. Well, I'm going to just start with this garlic uh, vampire dip because this seems so easy. Good. Got a little crackling Christine's action. Christine's in the for salad because that's all she uh, does. Well, we can all start with the the dip. I just mm. Can I just eat the bowl? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's bread. I think you're supposed to eat bread. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. I mean, I like the cracklins, but mm -hmm. I love cracklins. Me too. And the dip is also very good. Definitely has the garlic action going on. The bowl is really good. <laughs> is it? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get a piece of artichoke. Oh wow, mm. that's wild, I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was really trying to get a piece of artichoke part and now I've made a mess. And that bite was really, mm, I got a squirrel. Yeah, it's worth it though. Mm -hmm. How would you rate it from one to five mucks? Do you muck with it? I already oh, know what I'm gonna say. I muck with this yeah. for sure. Cause I like the cheese, I like the garlic, I like the artichoke, mm -hmm. sourdough bowl. 
That's kind of everything I would expect. Okay. Three, two, one, four. I'm not with it. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So me and Kay are mucking with it. Christine almost mucks with it. Yeah, I, I know. I like fair. it. I, I really do like it. I just think it's a little bit on the salty side, but. Yeah, I've got um, salt in my but like, blood. But so I feel I'm like fine. if you <laughs> if you hit it with the carrot or the celery oh, stick, yeah. that might be okay. a little bit better. Got a little fresh action in there. Mm -hmm. I'm a ball, man. Ball is life. That's just cheese on cheese. I'm not good in here. She can see this time. See if I can tear it right this time. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> fried mac and cheese balls. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I hope this is good. No, you're gonna hate that. Nope, yep, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like these things. I like the, the crispiness of them. They're the right amount of cheese so that it doesn't get soggy. Um, <laughs> oh, hell oh yeah. The noodle, they're really fat elbow noodles in there, actually. Mm -hmm. They're like just super noodly. I, I like the fry and the crisp on it. Mm -hmm. it's, really yeah, nice. it's like not too much, it's just uh -huh. the perfect amount. And like we. Picked this up for it to go. We brought it home. We had to set up. We had a little bit of an ordeal, so we actually had to reheat these. Mm -hmm. And even after coming out of the microwave reheated, they're still crispy. They're not soggy at all. They're good. Oh, yeah. I wish I'm, it. I'm up with mac and cheese balls. I wish it was a little bit cheesier, like a tad bit. Cheesier. Like a little it's, bit more obnoxious. What's your rating? What did you do? I think we're gonna learn with this muck rating that I just think everything's really good. All right, we'll dig into the porca palooza. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, they're this nervous. You should be nervous. nervous. This is like it's like breaking the plate. It's so yeah. thick. Um, I honestly don't know what all these types of pork are. I think it was listed on there when you order online, but I didn't pay attention to it enough to remember what it is. But I will tell you, there's these little. Like I'm gonna grab the ribs. little guy. Yeah. It's a little nuggety looking fella. Mm -hmm. And then there's like like a classic looking bacon. Mm -hmm. And then there's these little short guys they covered like in- super spicy. Oh, like pork oh, belly. Pork belly. Yeah. Oh, it's pork like belly. pork belly. But there's little jalapeno bits and pieces yeah. there. So I'm gonna eat one of these little nugget guys. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. gonna yeah. cry. Do we wanna like share a nugget or do we just like eat the thing? They're free. Oh, okay. You don't have to slurp on this thing <laughs> nugget. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that desperate. <laughs> I think if this got a choke rating from me, oh. this would get like a choke mm -hmm. four for sure. Like physically It's a little dry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love dry. This is dry. Yeah, so this is definitely like a choke rating for me of a four. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it's... But the flavor is good. It's got kind of like a little subtle sauce to it I like. I don't think it actually comes with sauce. I think it's from the other. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I okay, so then dry. it's just it's a straight yeah. choke for yeah. me then. Yeah. It's just dry. I'm yeah. about to dip it in the cheese sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. On that note, I am gonna get into some of this lemonade. So uh, we had kind of a disaster with takeout. Um, I don't really want this anymore. <laughs> I talked to the girl on the phone and placed the order. She was super nice. She took her order, no problems. Um, when you place a giant order like we did, because we also have some folks seating some food in the other room as well, um, you have to do a deposit, which is fine. Everything is good so far. We get there. Downhill. And, yeah, everything got weird from there. So we walk in, at least three people walked like halfway to where we were standing and then went back without being like, hey, we'll be with you in just a second or any kind of acknowledgement that we were breathing. Mm -hmm. And there was one gal who was standing there and she would like look over at us, but she wouldn't say anything. And you know, of course everyone's wearing their face masks. So she's just giving us eyes and she's standing there like a tin soldier. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> it was very strange. And then they finally got over there. We told them we had a pickup. Okay, fine. We got our food. And as we're driving home, I realized they forgot to give us the lemonade and the strawberry limeade. So I called and they were like, okay, no problem. The check is still open. We'll just take that off the check. And I said, okay, great. Sounds good. Crisis averted. Then we got home, unpacked all the goods and realized one of the burgers was missing. The whole meal. Oof. Yeah. So I called again. And they were still super nice. The guy was like, man, what's going on in our kitchen? And I'm like, I don't know, man, you work there, you tell me. Um, but they did take that missing burger off of our check, which was very nice of them. Good customer service. So we did go back, we got our lemonades and our burger. So thank you for correcting that mistake. That was appreciated, but like, man, get together first time around. <laughs> also the lemonade is delicious. Try the- Honestly? Bacon. This bacon? 
Bees knees. Bees knees. Bees knees. I'm just eating a piece of fat too, so. My cat's Ooh, you can yeah. imagine. <laughs> what a normal piece would taste like. Oh, it's good it's though. Really good. Oh. It's like more of a heat after you swallow. Uh -oh. Are we, are we struggling? Uh, our burger's gonna be soggy. <gasps> mm. That's okay, we'll just flip them upside down. Okay, fair. TBD. I do like this. My mouth's on fire. Give me this. Mm. Oh, I want that, sorry. Give me this. This is wet. Oh. <laughs> All right. Whew. Yeah, that has got some heat on mm -hmm. it. I like that. Get back to this lemon. I'm just going for the... Well, it's not that spicy to me. It's really not until like... Well, I can't do spicy at all. So. No, this heat is hitting me on like the back half of my tongue after I swallowed. Oh, it was really? not like as I was eating it. It was like afterwards and I was like, oh, okay, It was sweet while I was eating it and then afterwards it kind of kicks you in the teeth. Yeah. Mm. In a good way. No, I guess I'm probably gonna eat a jalapeno right now, so. All right, going in for the last of the bacon trio here. All right, dude. Pork I like this already, just texturally when I was ripping mm -hmm. it, because it was like, it felt really thick. I'm kind of crispy on the edges, so I just mm -hmm. I like the finger feel of it. Mm. <laughs> I like fingering the pork. Mm. Um, what are these little, little black little... crunchy things? Just like burnt ends? That's a little sour. Yeah, it tastes like a pickled kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, this would be super good minus these choke nuggets. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if that was something else, this would slap. Yeah. I think with choke nuggets, this has gotta be like a like a three from me. Mm -hmm. I would definitely eat it again because it's bacon, but I may not order it again. I would eat it if somebody else ordered it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, I agree with that. Like and if I, the choke yeah. nuggets weren't there, I'd get like a four and a half. Yeah. If the choke nuggets were like but I also know. still probably wouldn't know. order it. I would just eat it if somebody else <laughs> ordered it. <laughs> the end. Yeah, no, I agree. Should we try the burger? Oh yeah, this movie so we can see this bad boy. Mm -hmm. He's sliding off here. Mm. I asked Mr. Meatball for a knife that I could cut this burger with. And this is what he gave me. He delivers. This will be the last time you see Shelby with 10 fingers. <laughs> It will be nine or less after this. I was trying to do thirds and it was like, you know, harder than it. Well, yeah, it's not like a pizza. I don't think you can. I really think this is not a sharing burger despite the size. I think this is one that you just have to tackle on your own yeah. or approach it like it's a salad and then just uh, pick mm -hmm. at it with a fork. I don't know. I you forgot half of your burger. <laughs> I was like, where'd my bun go? It's so big that you left half of it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Kay's like, mm. here we go. And chomp. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's all over my face. <laughs> it's my first chip. Your whole patty fell out. <laughs> Your chicken did too. Well, I'm choking. <clears throat> I'm also choking. I'm not I, sure if Shelby got any of it. It's no. everywhere. <laughs> it's in our vampire dip. Uh -huh. Nothing's in her mouth right okay, now. No. There's definitely plenty in my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, my burger pooped its pants. Mm -hmm. um, I like the onions. I like the chicken. I like the onions. Yes, the onions mm -hmm. are good for me. I haven't gotten any onions because my um, mouth was not big enough. <laughs> it's, it's on the floor. I like the mushrooms that I just picked out of our dip. Those were good. Mmm. Very messy. The top patty is more tender than the bottom one. But kind of sore. Since yours fell out, I don't think you know. Yeah, that's so why I was like, I don't know. No, what I can't switch. tell one from the other mm -hmm. at this point. Also, the chicken is good. Mm-hmm. What is that 50-50 mix supposed to be? I think it's like pork and beef. It's like the bacon pork oh. belly stuff. Okay, then I think the Angus was the one on top and then the 50-50 on the bottom. Have you guys watched that Nailed It show? Mm. Nicole Byer, who's the host on there, she'll like <clears throat> eat a cake or something and she'll be like, I don't know how this is wet and dry at the same time. <laughs> That's how I would describe Unders this chicken. It is, Understandable, yes. it is moist, but also that choke five mm -hmm. at the same time. I, it's hard for me to say because this, this 
is such a <clears throat> wild sandwich and it mm -hmm. did have to sit here for a minute. It's hard to determine if it's like fallen apart emotionally because we let it sit here for too long or if this was just a really ambitious decision on our part. Oh, this looks so disgusting. Honestly, <laughs> like I really like it, but I also choked on every bite I took, mm. so I'm confused. I'm just gonna What say did I you like say it. you think the top patty is? Angus. Something? Angus. <sighs> that made me out of breath eating that, honestly. I didn't even finish it. I still want more vampire dip though. This is my favorite. I like the, yeah. <laughs> I like the bread. Yeah, the the vampire dip definitely takes the takes the cake here. Um, I think I like the top patty mm -hmm. more. I like whatever the top patty of this is. If it was the Angus, um, something about the bomb one. I think it might be the pork. I didn't get to experience the top or bottom. I shut them both in at the same time. So I. It just know. something about the flavor is missing. Like is this it's the top or bottom. It needs a spice. Some kind of spice missed the missed the mush. The one that's more dry and not as flavorful the is... The one that's got the cheese stuff to it. Yeah, I didn't like that one. What was that one? That was the one you guys were saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's a 50-50 guy, we think. Mm. I'm gonna hate this. Which one do you think I should try? Well, I had a carrot, because carrots are always safe. Are they? Is that uh, a tomato? Um, that might be a tomato. There's a cauliflower. There's, there's some one. little There's some little onions mm. in here. Full size. Or obvious pickles. I'm touching everything and throwing it back in. Okay. Oh, well, so... I'm scared. What are we gonna rate this? But I don't really wanna rate it. I don't wanna hurt its feelings because I know this is like a limited time menu option thing okay, they well have. That, you not rating it is rating it, so you might as well rate it. Yeah, just rate it. It's you just time. saying that. Anyway, limited it's a limited time thing. Okay. This is like a featured deal. They're just trying to like make something that's like shock value. And I think visually the shock value mm -hmm. is there. Oh, it is there. The description on the sandwich is there. But something about it being my, in my mouth, it didn't want to be there. Oh, right. So say your number on the count of three. Three, two, one, two, three, five. Anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna wrap this bad boy up. So Slater's 50-50, they're located in the Henderson area. Um, it's a fun little spot. They've got 100 million different beers on tap, so if that's something you're into with your burger, that might be a spot for you. For takeout, everything traveled and reheated really well. Mm -hmm. Caramel corn's so good. Caramel corn is so good. Um, overall, I think their takeout service leaves something to be desired. Um, you know, That just might be because they're not really used to the takeout thing or they don't have a good takeout process because we are still dealing with the pandemic, and I'm sure this is not a normal um, business operation for them to have to do that. But regardless, it is the way things are right now. Adaptability is important. Didn't love that. Adapt. Um, overall, the food was just kind of like, whoa, in every different possible way. Mm -hmm. I think the shining star of today has been the vampire dip. Oh though. my gosh, I want to order this every single day. Yeah, I think if you go to dine in, it's a great starter appetizer to share with everyone. Meal if you're feeling frisky. Yeah. Oh, because then you can just uh -huh. eat the bowl after. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the move. <laughs> that's my top pick oh, so for bad. today. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Slater's 50-50. Overall, 50-50. <laughs> not, <laughs> not an unfair assessment of the situation. Uh, yeah. Like, would I eat there yeah, again? 50-50. Yes. Some was yeah. some was not. <laughs> would I know what to not order? Also, yes. yes. Yeah. But I would definitely be willing to try it again. They also have like chicken wings and flatbreads and really ridiculous milkshakes and things that I think oh, would be better yeah. for the dining mm -hmm. experience. So I would definitely give them another shot for that yeah. stuff. Anyway, we're 50-50 on Slater's. Mm -hmm. This piece of bacon has rosemary on it. I don't know why. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. All that good stuff. Check mm -hmm. us out on Instagram. See our photos. See some behind the scenes weirdness. Or, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube because we need a hundred subscribers so we have a custom handle. I'm not threatening you, this is just a prop. One hundo. <laughs> See you next time.